In this episode of Overmind Lab series, I won't be describing my experiences to you, but simply showing them to you. The inspiration for recording this material came from information about ChatGPT plugins, which are basically the possibility to extend what ChatGPT offers by connecting it to the internet, various services, and even other AI models such as Wolfram Alpha. There is no doubt that we are talking about something big. I know this for sure because I have had an access to such capabilities for several weeks now as I created them by myself. As you probably know, by creating Alice, I have the ability to not only interact with GPT-4, but also create my own extensions, which may be compared to ChatGPT plugins. For example, here we have an action for adding quick notes. All I need to do is just select any text and then just say that I would like to create a quick note from it. Alice knows exactly what I mean and create a query, which is then sent to Notion. In a moment I'll have a confirmation that the note has been saved and if we now go to my Notion, we'll see that the note indeed appeared right here. This means that GPT-4 in this case connected to an external service, but since the integration we are talking about was implemented in the Make platform, I can actually connect to any service that has an API. What's more, preparing such integration essentially comes down to preparing a make scenario that accepts information sent to a webhook and then returns a response that Alice captures. This allows us to, for example, download a dataset and then discuss it with Alice. As if that wasn't enough, defining such actions is really about creating a simple prompt using a form like this. We assign a name, choose an icon, category and of course assign a prompt. For example, let it be answering questions with only yes or no. In this case it is not necessary, but there is nothing stopping you from adding a webhook address here to which the data prepared by Alice will be sent. This means that in this way, based on a few sentences, I can prepare an instruction that will allow Alice to connect to any scenario, execute it and receive information. Let's save this action which has already appeared on our list. Now we can restart the conversation and ask a question that Alice will answer with yes or no. After a moment we get the answer exactly in the format we requested. However, if that's not enough, we have another integration here which is not currently available in ChatGPT but probably will be when plugins are available. Specifically, we are talking about the ability to access my personalized information. For example, if I ask Alice a recognize Kate, in this case she will generally answer that she doesn't know who I'm talking about. But if I ask her to remember that Kate is my fiancé, I get confirmation that information has been saved. Now if I rest up the conversation, meaning I start completely anew and ask the same question again, this time the answer will be different. The information we have about Kate at this point is directly related to Alice's connection to additional database, which actually stores information locally on my computer, but also stores its vector representation on my Pinecon account. As a result, the entire logic I have presented in the cons about a personal AI avatars has been transferred by me to the code and implemented directly into this application. In practice, if I want to use this memory, all I have to do is to activate the assistant option and if I'm not interested in using this additional memory, I can simply turn it off. In practice, as you can see, Alice has access to GPT-4 and all the knowledge and capabilities associated with it, such as code generation. But I can also create my own extensions that can connect to the internet and work with virtually any services through dmake.com. If that wasn't enough, when asking a question, I can provide a URL that will be read by Alice and then the answer will be generated using this information found on that page. In this case, there is no doubt that the URL has been read and that Alice indeed knows exactly what is on that page. What's more, since we are in the context of a chat, I can ask additional questions. For example, I can ask for a link to a Medium profile and the answer will be as follows. The link in this list to my profile, which I warmly invite you to visit. In summary, using the OpenAI API and some programming skills, I have integrated my computer with GPT-4 and there is nothing to prevent me from creating remote actions here that will communicate with keyboard maestro and there within macros I can read file contents or create new files or perform any other action related to my system. 
Additionally, I have an access to long-term memory, an internet connection and chat context which will soon be saved in history. Please let me know what you think about this project, do you like it or have any question or something I could apply here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.